literally our families and our conditions. Do we promote the military solution or do we promote accept the hello Garchi times a million times over, 37 million times more, in, in what we call now, right? the hello Garchi 204, it seems el this electronic thing is even bigger. Well, this will be another six years. So what should we propose then? Stop it? The foreign press, the foreign observers said there's fraud. Simple as that. That's uh, the Analysis, uh, systematic, unbiased, no emotion. Maling election, maling ginawa, maling resolution, ang resolution. Labag lahat sa batas eh. So, anong gagawin ngayon natin? Uh, th that's the big question because uh, the whole process was null and void from the very beginning. The law was violated. I agree with you. Yeah. We've been fighting that here in GNN from day one. We noticed that. Even mainstream media went the other direction and opted for, wow, fantastic, we got the votes. 10 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night, we already knew who won. Everyone was elated. The euphoria that was generated by mainstream media. I often wondered why it, when it was going on. It was only us in GNN that was questioning the accuracy of what was going on. And act we were asking for a third party, an independent third party assessment of the results that were coming out before the declarations. But no una ne. Like you said, a possible conspiracy. We're not condemning it is. Okay. But where are we? What are we going to do now? Yes, please. Uh, there are constitutional remedies okay, that Ado has uh, pointed out. The military is part of the constitution. Are we okay. going to go there? We got I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> saying, I'm just saying that there are several medicines on the closet. Okay. Which one is the proper one? But what I'd like to point out, Harry, is perhaps, what you're saying, are we going to accept the same thing again, where we get another six years of lying and manipulation and so on, uh, on top of another of six years before that of nothing and so on and so forth. Perhaps we might look at this as an opportunity that Providence is giving us to finally give us a Philippines that we want. And to do what? Go with the military option? Well, if it would be the military, a Filipino din yan eh. Huh? And these are our people. And it is provided in the Constitution. They're supposed to defend us. Defend the state. No, I'm not going to argue that with we're, you. I'm just, I'm trying to pull out the, the information that you're just, promoting. We're just, we're just afraid because of, the, yes, because of, of course, the banana republics and all that yes, kind of yes. I'm, I'm scared of it, but I'm not saying it's incorrect. We're not, ask, we're not looking for what's correct and what's wrong. We're looking, I mean, we're looking at what should be done. The, the, the Constitution also, the spirit, although it doesn't directly apply yeah. to, the, to the military option, but applies to the Senate President option, uh, says that within 60 days that acting president, who was the Senate President, mm. uh, thank God he won, should, what if he did not? Uh, should call for an election within 60 days. So within 60 days, he calls for an election, schedules it, uh, not within the 60 days, just calls it, but say, schedules it a year. And that could be the, the, the adjustment period. And for the meantime, uh, we are left with uh, <laughs> that kind of a situation. Do you believe Noy Noy won the elections as he is our president today? Yeah, I think so. Although there are those who doubt. I think so. Yes. So oh, if that being the case, can we just leave him there and then no. let's look? <laughs> because if we do that, lumalabas na naman yung pagka pagka pwede na lang ng Pilipino. Kaya tayo hindi uma-advance eh. Kasi pag binigyan ka ng isang bagay, pwede. Pag binigyan ka ng isang bagay, yeah. pwede. Wala, walang mga yan sa atin. So, mali ang nangyari, tigilin natin, ayusin natin. Ayun. Okay. Ayusin Regardless natin. of consequence. Okay. Okay. Now, Tapusin natin. Let, let me just add go ahead, one, go ahead. one, 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 one thing. Okay. Remember, Comelec is always saying, kahit bumaksak yung uh, automation natin, may backup naman tayo eh. Manual. How long is that manual? Sandali lang yan eh. Uh, one month. Oh, one one month. month. Can we not go through that process and let let the one that is provided for in the Constitution Pero to be Pero no? wala tayong binabudget dyan. No, hindi naman kailangan yan kasi meron, na, kung sinabi mong pwede ka ng manual, may pera ka na dyan. Kung may back up mo yan dito sa election na nakaraan, yeah, Nilabas pera natin ka. dito, 7 billion. Is, but actually, spending nila is what, 16, 17B. Ang pro problema niyan, uh, June, is uh, sinong bibila? Sila na naman. Sila na naman. <laughs> So we're back to the yeah, first. That's okay. And the point is, we, we must make sure that if that is the route that we're going to go through, that 
we will now ensure that the people who will really run it, and we, we make uh, the necessary changes in Comerec. That's the point. And the only one who can do that will be that option of a... a do you realize that every commissioner in Comerec, I've spoken to many of them, or if not most of them, still, still sit on the high stool of authority saying that what they did was correct? and everything was within the, constitu the framework of the Constitution. You realize every single one there, of them there, say there, that. there is a suggestion now uh, in the, the civil society circles to uh, file uh, for the impeachment of the entire government. I've heard of that. Uh, but okay, that Al will have to gain ground and then question that side. Al Capone also said he was correct. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, we've reached... Alamo, this is such a very interesting uh, conversation. It's, I have to admit, I'm a little wary because I'm not sure I know where I stand on a personal basis. I'm just putting on a disclaimer. I'm not sure I know what exactly is right and what's wrong if options in this point are correct. But I do ag agree with you. Uh, Mr. Pedroso was saying, Kumali, mali, kung tama, tama. Tama rin po kayo, uh, Mr. Estrella. Na tama nga naman. Kung gusto maayusin, tapusin, wag naman yung tamang style ng Pilipino. Oh. Na Pwede na yan, para todo pasa. Oh, todo pasa. Gentlemen, before we end, I'd like Dead to give and, you... Uh, Ari, yeah. This crisis is an opportunity. To correct. I'm not sure the president... The problem is, is the solution itself. The problem is the solution. And also, those who are already sitting will not check themselves to audit. <laughs> it's normal. It's human nature. Gentlemen, before we end, the we end the program, I'd like to give you the opportunity to give you a quick message to our viewers. Let's start with Mr. Australia, Hermigildo Australia Jr. This camera, sir. Well, uh, I'm looking at it from the project that, they have, that we, are, we have spent for 7.3 billion pesos. I think, number one, if I assess the system, uh, the system is not worth 7.3 billion. Okay? Uh, number two, I think the, the implementation is not in any of the best practices that we understand from a system's point of view. And number three, I don't think they have to lie. They must admit because otherwise, they can always be checked because a com computer science is always exact. They can always be checked. It's always in the machine. We have learned that from time zero, from, we, from the time we learned computers. And one of the things that I'm saying is I can only say this because if I just look at the face of that IT manager, project manager of Smartmatic, I will know already whether they can do it or not. There was no one. No, no face yeah. was shown on TV that says, this is the project manager of Smartmatic. You know, that's so true. No? I just realized that. Attorney Ramon Pedraza. Ari, I know your father. <laughs> Say hello to Dom. I, I think he's my fraternity brother. Yes. Okay. Sovereignty that, were, that was taught to us in school does not belong to Congress. It does not belong to Comelec. It does not belong to the Supreme Court. It belongs to every Filipino who feels frustrated today because he does not know what happened to his vote. That's it. That's the end. Mr. Ado Paglinawan. Well, I'll go with my last statement earlier, which where I said that the problem itself presents not only the solution, but, the but likewise the opportunity. This is a genuine opportunity, a golden opportunity for the Filipino people to make the right first move if we are to correct hundreds of years of misrule, malgovernance. And now we are near to anarchy. The Constitution provides an option. Let's bite the bullet and go for it. Better a government run like, like hell already. There you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for everything. Um, how do I end a program like this? It's, I started with a question. Uh, at the end of the program, I become more perplexed or more into the situation. I'm not sure I know what solutions or what to promote. Either way, because oh, every time here in GNN, we like to promote one thing. Basically, it's nation building. And every time I go away from that, it's got to be nation building. And as Mr. Pagninawan said, the solution is really the problem. And the problem presents actually the solution and vice versa. So. Intellectually, this is, a much, this is really a challenge. It is not an exercise. It is not just calisthenics. And we are not jockeying for time because we have the time on TV, as you can well see. The problem is more of, gee, what do we do? Well, you know, Alamo, as much as we discuss it here, we expect you to do the same because you have to become that body politic. You want to change it? You be part of this. 
Now, ask her what directions to take. Stay tuned in GNN. Let's see if we can come up with more issues and answers as well. Maraming salamat po. My name is Harry Tumbo.